Hi, welcome. Uh, this is Carpal Nix. It's a version of March 2020, and the video is about Alconix 22. At some point in time, um, Brad joined our team, and with him, he is developing with us two different apps. And Ctrl Alt E is going to launch the tweet tool, and Ctrl Alt W is going to launch the welcome app. So there are two apps at this point in time that are new in our system. The Arconix tweet tool has been changed. So there's a new um, version in the testing repo at this point in time, but I'm making videos, of course, also for the beta testers who will test it now and then soon will release it. What's new here is uh, we have the auto start, which I'll explain in another video, but there is also the desktop installer, and this is gonna be awesome. It means you don't need to go to the cheat sheet and go and type in some stuff in a terminal it's just a drop down where you say, I really would like to have BSP WM installed on my system. At this point in time, this is still an Arc Linux ISO, meaning it has XS, XFC, Openbox, and i3. And so should it say. So if you go and navigate with your arrow down, you see that i3 is installed. It says so. And Openbox is installed. And XFC is installed, right? So all the rest, 15 desktops, and we'll soon have more, they're just in a dropdown, and you decide to install it or reinstall it. And maybe you've seen some videos about the Pac-Man and about VAR cache. So sometimes um, things go wrong in the sense Pac-Man has packages which are corrupt and all that. So here's the cache. And if you say, okay, select to clear the cache before reinstall. So if you have run into problems, you can install but afterwards also reinstall. But sometimes you need to clear the cache because, well, issues, right? So we've thought about everything and um, it's now super, super easy to just install the one you like. You start with Arconix B, D. It doesn't really matter anymore because we have the tweet tool and you just um, add packages to it. So if you would like to install more elements, more um, um, desktops really, then you just click somewhere and say install. And let's do a, a small one, but, and this is a real machine, so it's not a virtual box, I can't log out really. But what's happening is, that's it really, <laughs> it's, it's already finished. BSP WM is now installed, but like I said, this is uh, the real metal machine. I can't log out here, but it's all installed. Oh, by the way, there is RIP. RIP is an interesting thing, not IP, but RIP. And in RIP, you see that we have installed BSP WM and all these things, you see? So it's just gonna work once I boot out. I log out and then boot up again, log in again. So it's that easy to install a, um, well, new desktop that you like and love, all right? Okay, enjoy.